that booth, right? It lets you select like a side. And if you select, say, like, for instance, let's just go back a couple years ago. Say it's like Barack Obama and Mitt Romney, right? If you select Barack Obama, that shit's selecting Joe Biden for you. It's selecting Hillary Clinton as this for you. It's selecting the whole damn side, right? It's selecting, you clicked, you clicked on Obama, that shit clicked everything else for you, right? And if, say, you clicked Mitt Romney, right? It clicked everything else for you, you know? That's just uh, how did the team works. And that, that's what I'm trying to get across to y'all. When you, when you subscribe to that team stuff, you have to take everything that comes with the team. Now, you may not know it's coming with the team, you know, until like down the line, they might be like, oh, what the hell is this? Oh, yeah, this is, we, we, we're about this too, right? So, no, that's why you don't do that. You don't do that. It's not about the teams, it's, unless you're talking about Team Most High. <laughs> no, man, that wasn't even. Now, let me talk about this for a minute. You know, clearly he didn't mean to say that. Clearly he felt bad about it. So, to be honest, let me just say, let me just say this. Let me just say this. Well, first of all, I don't know if, if, if he didn't mean to say it. And I don't know if he felt bad about it. I don't know that. I don't know this dude. And neither do you. Now, what you're doing is speculating. And since you're speculating, then I can speculate and say the opposite. But obviously that's petty. I, I don't have time for that. But the, that's the type of game. Again, that's the type of games that you you know um, open up to when when you start to speculate. So because I could say this, right? I could say, well, who knows? Maybe he had a, a friend or a coworker put him up to that. Maybe you ever seen the movie Super Troopers where, where they were going around saying like like dumb dumb stuff like when they were having people pulled over like like um, meowing and stuff like that, and you know the, the driver's like, what the, what was that? You know, and they just continue to meow and see how many they can get off before the driver realizes. Stuff like that. You know, who who the hell knows? Who knows? You know, the answer is we don't know. So, again, we can't speculate. All I know is what he said. And because he said that, I know that that's in his spoken vocabulary. Because, again, we don't just freaking go to words that we don't use and just blurt them out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Unless it comes out that this dude got to Tourette's. Aside of that, then, you know, that's just not happening. And again, am I saying that this guy should lose his job or anything like that? No, but let's not, you know, look, we don't know. It's okay to say we don't know. You don't know him, Brandon Tatum. I don't know him, right? So we can't sit here and say, oh, he felt like this, he felt like that. We don't know. But if I was in that situation and the man said that to me, I would be like, what? But then if he was sorry and be like, oh, man, I, I, just, I didn't mean to say that or whatever, I didn't, it, it wouldn't be a big deal to me. I would. All right. So, hey, look, I'll say this. Since that's what you're saying, that, that, that's, that, that's how you're saying it would happen for you. I got nothing against that. Um, but what I will say, like, hey, if it happened to me, I would, I would have the same reaction that Brandon just said that he would have. I would be like, wait, what? Well, hold on. Like, did, did I? I would be thinking to myself, did, did this nigga just say what the hell I think he just said? And then when he's like, oh, my bad, my bad. Then I have to look at him like, you know, like, what you mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what do you mean you're bad? Now, I'm not sitting here saying, like, I'm going to have to fight this dude. But I'm looking at him definitely, like, side-eyed, like, you know, because that don't happen, bro. That don't happen. That's my point. That don't happen. So, you know, are you trying to play me for a fool now? You know what I'm saying? Are you trying to play me for a fool? So, what the brother did in the video, I got nothing against that. You know, that's probably what I would have did. I would have been like, you know, hey, yeah, have a good one. You know what I'm saying? Do I think you're racist or nothing like that? I don't know. But, you know, this ain't going nowhere because, you know, number one, I don't want your damn solar panels anyway. <laughs> but, like, I wouldn't just, you know, like Brandon saying, I was like, oh, yo, hey, you know, whatever. It doesn't mean anything. No, I, you know, I, I'm thinking, like, hmm. Like, where, where'd that come from? Because, again, we don't just slip words that we don't use. And, again, I don't care if he uses it or not. But But, like, hey. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you should be a little bit better if you know that you're going to be going to um, neighborhoods where you're going to be talking to quote unquote uh, niggers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Maybe you should freaking stand in front of a mirror and say neighbors, neighbors, neighbors a hundred times and all that stuff till you get it right. I not care. Let me tell you something real quick. Let me, let, me, let me tell you something real quick. If a person was offended by what he said, I get it. But to me, you, you soft. You soft. 
You a soft dude if you let a, uh, somebody say a word to you and you cry like a baby and go in the house. I mean, you, you can't be well, hold on. First of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, you just said you get it if someone's offensive, but then you, you're saying that they're a baby. Do you get it or you don't? You don't get it. <laughs> That's number one, right? And I'm not sitting here saying that you got to get it. I, I don't give a fuck if you get it or not. But <laughs> what we need to keep in mind is that, hey, like that dude, he went in the house. And again, I have no issue with that. But the conversation wasn't going anywhere anyway. He probably didn't want the solar panels. And now this dude's dropping the end bomb, you know what I'm saying? Or, or, or willy nilly like that. Then, hey, this, this is really, you know, over. This is a dub right here, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to hear your apology because I'm not, I'm not interested. You know, my reaction probably would have been exactly what the brother in the video's reaction was. Like, dude, I don't give a fuck enough. You know what I'm saying? Again, I don't care. You want to say nigger this, nigger that. You know what I'm saying? Knock yourself the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? Knock yourself out. It doesn't affect me none. But I know that you use that word. It's in your spoken vocabulary. That's why you dropped it. Or you actually are playing games. You are playing games. And so maybe someone uh, double dog dared you to do it. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Either way, I don't have time for it. And that doesn't make you soft to be like, you know, hey, whatever. I'm not, I'm not with it. I'm not with it. Because at the end of the day, um, you have to take people as serious as they're going to take themselves. So does that make you soft to go in the house? For, well, how serious should you take someone that just freaking dropped uh, the word nigger to you as a quote unquote uh, black person in this country? Now, again, we all, we, well, most of us should know what you know nigger actually means and all that stuff. Um, you shouldn't be su subscribing to that uh, moniker like, oh, nigger means black man or, or black person. Uh, because it doesn't, but I digress. If, if that's going to be the case, right, where that's going to happen, or someone's going to say something like that to you, well, you got to sit there and just fucking entertain it and go on anyway, like, oh, okay, hey, he didn't, he, he didn't mean it, it's okay. Now, yeah, go on about what you're talking about with these solar panels. And it's like, no, what for? What for? Uh, unless you're really in, into the solar panel, but, you know, but at that case, I mean, but in that case, how again, how serious are you going to take this person? I would not take him seriously. If you go out on a business meeting and, and then they, they say, um, how's it going today, nigger? Oh, sorry about that. I meant to say um, neighbor or I meant to say your name. Let's just say your name is Nick. I meant to say Nick. I'm so sorry. I said nigger and said, uh, no, no matter what, how, how serious should you take that person going forward? Not serious at all. Not serious. Period. And I'm not saying, saying that people don't make mistakes because they do. But hey, you know, just because people make mistakes doesn't mean that we all have to, you know, forget about the mistakes that they made. You know, and, and again, should that person be freaking, you know, like fired or all, reprimanded? Also? No, no. But let's not try to downplay things just because it fits certain narratives or doesn't fit certain narratives. You call me the N-word and all you listen to. It's, I'm about to fall out this chair. All you listen to is in, 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 in. Now let me tell you this. I'm gonna say this and then I'll move on. Cause I just can't I just can't stand the the the, 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 the hip, hypocrisy. This good dude said the thing he was he was he, you know he felt bad about it. Now why did he say that? I have no idea. Maybe in his mind he was just listening to little Drake now. <laughs> And then he got there and said, don't say the N-word in front of this black man. Don't say the N-word in front of... And then he said it. Well, first of all, how would he know it was a black man until he, until he got to the... Until the black man answered the door? Number one. And again, you don't think that quote-unquote white people out here listening to, to Drake and um, Young Thug and uh, Pushing P and all, all this shit, you don't think they listen to it? They all do. Want to know why? Because quote-unquote black culture is pop culture. I've been saying it for the longest Black, quote unquote, black culture is pop culture. You see little white boys and girls listen to um, this hip hop rap shit all the time. They know more of these songs than you do. Okay, they know more of these songs than you do. So what? You don't you don't think that they all listening to it and saying it? No, they are. They are. They are. But again, back to the point is how often do we see them calling somebody or saying niggers in front of in front of other people? I don't see it. I don't see it. That's, again, why, hey, I'm not taking that guy serious. All right, hey, man, knock yourself out. Uh, have a good day. Get off my porch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's it. That could have been the case. But people need to stop letting this word have so much power. 
it's it, the hypocrisy of the word is what bothers me. Well, look, look. So what he's trying to do is he's trying to make a a, a straw man attack uh, because he's trying to now he's going to talk about how you know quote unquote black people use the word all the time and it, sh- it shouldn't be anything for somebody to say something like that. And and again, ultimately, it's not anything that 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 that, that, that salesman chose to use that word, right? It's not. But but. Let's not pretend that he ain't going around saying the damn word. At the end of the day, like, hey, who said that the guy, the homeowner, um, had an emotional response to it? I don't think he had an emotional response to it. The dude was just like, all right, hey, whatever, peace. And went, and went in his house. He ain't cursed the dude out. He ain't flex on him. He ain't do nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? So, uh. you can listen to rap music. And they in, 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 in. You can sell the rap music to white people. And they're at your concerts. And you saying in, 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 in front of them. Okay, well, hold on. Hold on. See, because th- this is a very weak straw man attack. And I'm, I'm going to end the video on this because it's going uh, rather long. So look, bro. First and foremost, that homeowner ain't a goddamn rapper. Well, I mean, well, actually, I don't know that. He might be a rapper, but he ain't the, the rapper that you're talking about, talking about, oh, oh they're listening to these, 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 music, these songs and stuff like that. That ain't him, number one, okay? Number one. So, if we, one thing, if it was Drake or Lil Wayne and the, in, in that video, and, and even then, the way that he responded, it's not even an issue. So, even then, it wouldn't make sense. But, but all right, I'll say this to you, uh, Mr. Brandon Tatum. If white, so it's okay for white people just to walk up to you and just start hitting you with nigger. Like, why even call you uh, Brandon Tatum or Mr. Tatum? It should be okay that they just call you nigger, <laughs> right? Because what you're saying is, oh, it's all up in the music anyway, and they're listening to it all the time, and you know the word has no power. So all right, then hey, man, Look, change your name to nigger. You know. And again, I'm not I'm not the type to be all like, oh, racism this, racism that. I, I've made so many videos about, you know, there's no such thing as racism because there's no such thing as race. You know, people are just are different, period. We are just different. Um, you know, and different um um walks of people have different cultures and, and different uh you know things that we hold sacred and things that we don't, you know. So we are just different uh naturally, and that's fine. It's, it's not a racism thing. Now, is prejudice a thing? Yes, prejudice is a real thing. Um, when you prejudge someone based off of things that you think or that you've heard uh, without any validity um, added to it, then yeah, that, that, you know, that's a real thing. But again, Mr. Tatum, how, how about you just go by nigger then? Just go by nigger. You know, uh, how, how many quote unquote um, people would you allow just to walk up to you, whether they're black, Asian, white, whatever, and just call you nigger? Or like let things look like that. Like, oh, yeah, we're talking to all the niggers in this neighborhood about whatever, um, you know, or or, or all the, the nigger YouTubers or whatever. Like how how off, how how much are you going to let that go? Because what you're doing, what you're saying is that it's always oh, OK, but I highly doubt that you will go for that. But then again, who the hell knows? Because you uh, again, you, you're so deep on the on the team aspect that you might just be like, "Oh yeah, fuck it, why not? Why not? This this is for the greater good of the team." You know, if I can sit here and swallow no homo, if I can swallow all 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 this nigger shit, you know, then you know I could really like you know, you know, make make a name for myself for the team. So all that stuff is for Gazy, y'all. It's for Gazy. It's for Gazy. And again, I got nothing against Mr. Brandon Tatum. He's got a very successful YouTube channel. He's he's doing well for himself. Uh, some of the mess, some some of the ideas uh, that he that he puts forth, I do agree with. I do agree with. Um, you know, and I think that it's good to have uh, multiple people saying uh, good things for the community. Uh, but there's other stuff that he says that I'm just I can't get down with. Just can't get down with. I don't like when I see videos like this and it's like, oh, you know, we, he he didn't mean that, nigga. You don't know him. You don't know him. You don't know what the hell he meant. You know what I'm saying? So why 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 are we even trying to speculate about something that we don't know? Just just don't make the video. You know what I'm saying? Don't make the video about it because we don't know. We don't know. Ultimately, I don't know that nigga. I don't know what he's about, what he's not about, whatever. I don't know. But what I do know is that that word is in his spoken vocabulary. And again, is that inherently wrong? No. I could give a sh- a shit about who the fuck is using the goddamn n word. 
I don't care. Now, if there's brothers on this channel or that, that are going to listen to this video, they're like, oh, well, you know, no, nah, that ain't cool. That ain't cool. That they, you know, white people, white people, white people. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, y'all got to let that shit go. Let that go, man. We got, we got way more uh, pressing matters to, to tend to than who the hell is saying the goddamn N-word, whether they meant to or not. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to do the mental gymnastics to try to figure out if, if somebody that I don't know meant to say some shit that they said. You know, at the end of the day, if I really wanted to boil it down, I could say the nigga meant it because he said it. <laughs> well, you know what? <laughs> That's about it on, on, on this, y'all. Uh, you know, this is just one of the many aspects of how this guy and I uh, differ. You know, again, I'm not a uh, team. And, and going forward, I'm sure y'all will be able to, to identify, like, oh, this is what he was talking about. You know, he's always talking about the team and, and, and Republican this and, and liberals that. And, like, I don't talk about that because it's, it's really not a, about that to me. You know, at the, at the end of the day, like I said before in the video yesterday, people play roles. Just like in movies, people are cast in certain roles. Whether they know it or not, people are cast in certain roles. So, you know, I, I, I there's, there's always going to be uh, the ops, you know, the quote unquote ops, the opposition always. Right. No matter what's going on, you know, whether like think about it. Uh, good guys aren't the only guys that have ops, you know, bad guys have ops, too. Right. Bad guys have ops. And, you know, unlike movies in real life, most people don't know if they're on the side of the quote unquote good guys or the quote unquote bad guys. That's the difference between movies and real life. You know, a lot of these people don't understand. You know, they may very well believe that they are on the quote unquote right side. You know, as a lot of um, people in politics say nowadays, on the right side of history. You know, like what the hell? What the hell is that? <laughs> you know, what I mean, what the hell is the right side of history? You know, history can only be examined um, through the eyes of the future. You know, that's why it's history. So, how can you be on the right side of history? Because there wasn't a quote unquote necessarily like a right side back then, you know. It, 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 that that's getting into like more philosophical like type stuff. Type stuff. So I'm just gonna end this video. But please do me a favor, y'all like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you think that uh, what I'm saying is a whole bunch of BS. And me and this guy are one and the same. Let me know if you uh, agree with what I said. Let me know. What you think about the dude um, saying we're going around talking to niggers? Let me know what you would do in that situation. Leave leave it in the comments below. I would love to read what y'all would do. You know what I'm saying? Because um, again, like what the brother did in the video, hey, I, that's probably along the lines of what I would have uh, did. That that would have been probably my reaction. You know, like yeah, uh, okay, yeah, he's saying he didn't mean it. Whatever, hey, whatever. I don't know this nigga, and I don't I don't really care for what he's selling anyway. You know, have have a nice day, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Um...